Hi guys, making videos can be very, well, they can be very complicated sometimes, especially if you don't have the right product, if you don't have the right screen recorder, or even to convert them, right? So while EC is there, it's going to make all of this so much easier for you, especially when you have that really low quality video, but you want to convert it to a higher quality. It's really hard to find one that will actually give you the right bang for your buck. Well, Easy is going to help you with that, and today I'm going to show you exactly how it's going to be able to to really revolutionize your recording, your video experience. So, Easy Video Converter Ultimate, for example, they have 20 plus media tools that we can convert. You can actually compress the video, edit. You can make MV. You can make collage, and and a lot more. You can convert those to like HD, 4K, and even up to 6K. Well, around 60 times faster video conversion speed as well. It supports a little over a thousand video and audio formats and batch conversions and the video production features actually you can cut the crop you can add the effects some subtitles you can remove watermarks and actually reduce that video shaking and re video and remove that video noise which can be quite uh, a headache altogether uh, you can download this for mac or windows 11 10 and 8 uh, you can see available for mac went 10.7 or later as well uh, the pricing is actually really good as well. Let's take a look. Uh, the annual plan, you can see that for $39.99, uh, tax excluded. Uh, you get one PC auto renewal. You can cancel at any time, and you get one year free upgrades. They have a uh, perpetual plan that's $55. Bucks. You get one PC and the lifetime access to all features. And a family plan that's $150, and you can actually use this for five PCs. And you get the limited life or the lifetime access to all features as well. But let's go ahead and take a look at the features. So let's jump into that right now. All right. So here we are. I've already got it downloaded. Uh, very easy to sign up and get started. Uh, even they have this free plan. You are limited though, or the trial plan they have for you. But uh, let's walk away and do it. So you can add the files right here. You can add the files or even add a folder. Uh, or you can just like click right here. And then add your video. I'm going to use this video that's really bad for me here. Uh, and here you can see you can kind of go ahead and cut. And you can enhance the video as well. And this is your output. Now I'm on the converter, right? So uh, if we want to kind of change the output, uh, I can go right here. If you see this little window, uh, you can see the MP4, the uh, HEVC, the Move, the ProRes, right? And many, many, many more. eBay, Best Buy, all of these, right? Uh, but for now, I'll just say MP4. I can do a 4K video encoder. Uh, select that. It puts it at 3840 by 2160. Uh, the subtitles are disabled, but I can actually just click and actually put them, add the subtitles. Uh, very easy if I already have them. Uh, the two-channel audio track disabled if I want to remove the audio track, uh, so forth. But also, if you click right here, this is going to pull up uh, this window. So this is going to give you a lot of freeway uh, to do some things, right? So you have... Uh, you can audio match the output resolution based on your computer results, right? Uh, you can ro rotate right here in the bath, so rotate left, right. You can do the horizontal or the vertical. You can even crop the picture if you want. Uh, you can crop this how you would, just right here. And here as well, you can actually do it to the center of the video just to make it more center. The aspect ratio, uh, you can do the 16 by 9. Uh, I think this is popular for Instagram, for example. And I can just jump and do the effects and fillers, uh, and I can add different effects. I can change the contrast, right? You can see it right here, uh, and I can change and go through the, some of the different um, choices here. So let's just make this. See, so you can see the contrast and how I just changed right here. Saturation, we can change all of this, uh, and the filters we can kind of add. Uh, different ones and they'll download once you click on those but you have the hue and the brightness as well you can change uh, all of these you can do deinterlacing and you can just apply this to all uh, if you're finished just hit okay uh, even the watermark here you can see like there's no watermark I can do a text watermark and then have the fonts uh, or I can just add an image as well uh, so I would just click like image uh, and then just click plus and here we go I can just like add an image and then open this and make my watermark right here and say this my watermark right so we can change all of that the same with the rotate the opacity uh, and the size all of this click OK if you want even audio we can change the volume if we want to make the volume lower uh, a delay as well uh, here I have it disabled uh, but we can kind of do it like this not much of a delay but 
uh, you get the idea. And even the subtitles before too, I showed you, uh, they are disabled. Uh, but if not, uh, we can add them as I showed you earlier before, and this is going to allow uh, all of this to happen. Uh, and of course, the MV, uh, we showed you this before, uh, and you have to buy it's not on a free plan, but you can kind of add everything here, uh, and you can go to the settings, the collage. Uh, you can make a collage for everything, and then we can just kind of uh, just make a couple of the same one. Really bad face that I have here, and we can kind of just pull this up and click the same as we did before. Remember this? Well, we can come, come back and do the same thing uh, and make our collage. Uh, even when you go to the toolbox, you're going to be able to see all the tools, right? Some hot deals. You have the video compressor, the video merger. The uh, These are all big, big things. The watermark removal, the audio compressor. But you also have color corrections, the volume boosters, the video trimmer, the image converter as well, the media metadata, uh, metadata uh, editor. You have so many different tools that you can really use. Once you're done, you just can flip, can click Convert All, uh, and well, here just with all track, I'm just using this to show you now, but you get the idea. Uh, and then even the settings, we can kind of change the settings here, the zoom mode, uh, we can do full, we can change the output folder specifically where you want to put it, your snapshots, when you take your snapshots, your MV here, you can set all of this up, the compressed folder, the collages where this is all going to set, uh, and your toolbox settings. Uh, 3D output folder, so you're going to be able to make all of your settings really uh, how you want them. Now, enable hardware accelerator. You have this as well. I can do the NVIDIA since I have this. Uh, AMD, NVIDIA, NVENC as well. Check for automatically updates if you want. Restore to defaults. You get the idea with the settings, right? I don't think I have to go through that for you, but um, you get the picture, and then you would just convert all. Uh, and then you're you're set to go, and then you'd go to the converted. So this one's already converted for me, uh, but you get the idea. It's really going to save you a lot of time, and I mean, just kind of, I walked you through it, so it's a little fast for me now. But um, even when you take your time, all of your tools are right at your fingertips, and it's going to save you so much time. And everybody hates post production, I understand, but here with Easy, it's going to make that a lot faster and a lot more enjoyable. All right, guys, thank you for watching. Check the link in the description below and give it a shot. And I promise you, your time will be cut in half at the accessibility. All right, guys, see you again next time.